Hey everybody, I will give everybody a few minutes to jump on. I got the cutest little shirt I got at Cottonwood, Cottonwood Boutique in Goodlettsville. It's got a little uh, pull to the side. I, I absolutely love it. I loved it so much that I bought it twice. How about that? Uh, uh, got to stop shopping. Oh, uh, it's really cute. Um, not sure what I'm going to do today. So, um, sorry, I just got a text. <laughs> I should have sent my notifications. Um, I'm going to do something a little different. Okay. I've cleansed my face and now I'm going to do my skincare. I'm doing, oh, got to shake it. Sorry. I keep it so cold in my house. That's cold. Climate control, which, which helps rehydrate your face and protects it. Okay? Now, helps with elasticity in your skin, helps with sunburns, helps with uh, dry skin, eczema. Now I'm doing the multi brightening vitamin. Now, I'm doing skincare. I'll break it up into some videos. Just a little show it y'all. In case you're just joining me and you have no clue who I am, Brynn, with Beyond Beauty with Brynn, my Sin Serum C. I just kind of get out here and chit chat. Most y'all are my regulars, so I take for granted that you know me. I'm going to go down my neck a little bit. This helps reverse. <laughs> it's got two stabilized vitamin C's, okay? Excellent to use at night. This is my Nagel oil. So, it's not a greasy oil. It's oil from a leaf. So, everybody could use it. Whether you've got oily skin, dry skin. It's like a healing agent. So, if you've got a boo-boo, it's excellent to use. Um, I use it instead of the aspirin, to be honest with you. This is my rejuvenating anti-wrinkle serum. You can see where it's very well used. <laughs> I try to use... Uh, Everything down to the last drop. Sometimes I might leave just a little bit to travel. You see, it's got the airbag. All of our products have the airbag where it goes up to the top so that you get every last bit of use out of it. You cannot beat that, okay? Um, this, you don't have to play the guessing game. When am I going to be out? You know. This is the digital moisturizer, which helps against laptops. Blue, it's, it helps against... Blu-ray lights, which is in everything from computers to laptops to cell phones to everything has a kiosk now, okay? And that helps against all those damaging lights. Even department stores have those lights. This is my neck lifting and firming cream. It's a must. Your neck is one of the first places that you age. I'm going to put some of it right underneath here, too. How about that? Okay. That's just me. Now, I'm going to do my Neotite. Ladies, if you don't have this, you absolutely need it. You air back again so you don't have to guess when you need more. It goes on my eyelids. If you have dark circles, crepey, kind of or wrinkly eyelids, those lines, crow's feet, it's excellent. Excellent. And the best part, you feel it working instantly like within five minutes okay i can feel it right now this is my lip line correction where i used straws for a good portion of my life i did not uh smoke but i used straws well you get the same lines so that's what that's for now i am going to put a little bit of hand cream because that's the second place that you age sure y'all know that. You show your age on your hands and your neck first. So, keep them moisturized. Okay? If you've got ashy elbows, which I do not, because I use this heel and elbow cream. That's why they look so smooth. Okay? Which, the winter, the summer, you just, you know, you need it all the time. A little goes a long way. As you know, because you see me using it. <laughs> I'm going to put my daytime moisturizer on. You definitely got to seal in all 
the ingredients that you've used on your face. Oh my gosh. And your face just feels so good. Don't forget your neck again. And don't just throw it on there. Rub it in. Make sure you get those nooks and crannies. Okay? Nooks and crannies. Now I'm going to put silk, which is like my face primer. And it's a, a pore and wrinkle minimizer. And you spread it in a downward motion all over your face. Just flick it up. We'll let that sit for a few minutes. While I'm letting that sit, I'm going to do my eye pearlizer that I always use. It's an eye cream. You see me using this daily. Okay? Even if I'm not going to wear makeup, you want to put this on. Okay? I absolutely love it. Uh, drinking my coffee. Uh, this is where I'm fixing to use something different. Did y'all know that we have sunscreen for the face that's SPF 20? Now, that's not saying that this isn't got a mechanical shield in it. This is the foundation. This is the color tinted moisturizer, which has a mechanical shield. And then, with your SPF, yes. You cannot layer an SPF, but you can most definitely layer a mechanical shield. Okay, but today I'm going to do something different. How about that? First off, I'm going to take this green and I'm going to take my concealer brush. This is a good one. I'm going to take the green and kind of go right over that little red spot. Okay, my face ain't real, real red other than that. I could probably go a little darker here. Covers it really well. What is opposite for red on the color color wheel? Green. Okay. So then, now I'm going to take a little bit of the moisture tinted moisturizer, color corrected moisturizer. Now this helps. Even it's got a little bit of the green and a little bit of the concealer. In it. Now I'm going to do my dewy. So I'm mixing my color. My color tinted moisturizer. Watch what I'm mixing. I've not done this before. So if you're watching, this is a newbie for me. Taking a little bit of our sunscreen and mix it just a down. Okay? I'm going to mix it. Just a dab. With all of our stuff, a little dab of it. So, it blends well. It goes well. Goes on with your makeup really well. How about that? I like that. So, I've got sunscreen and my color tinted moisturizer and my foundation all in one whack. And it blended very well. All right, I like that. I wish I would have started using that a little bit sooner in the summer, but you know what? Now, because to make sure that I don't have any makeup on my eyebrows, I'm doing this, which is the eyebrow gel, which is a must, ladies. Helps shape your eyebrows. It has Corpixel, which helps them grow. absolute must. I forgot this when I come back from vacation. I did not unpack it and I tried using it without it. I did not like that. Just sharing that with y'all. I did not. I've got to use that uh, that moisturizer. I'm looking for a really fine brush that I can do, let's see, I've got so many brushes everywhere. Oh, huh. I think I'm going to try this brush. Did y'all see that? From eyebrows. So I let that sit, sit. You remember when we were in school and we used to do this with a 
<laughs> do that. You don't do that. So nasty. Listen. <laughs> so now we got the gel, and I just let the gel set a second. Now I'm just gonna take this and just kind of fill in. Oh. Actually, we have one of these incisions too. How about that? It's not real heavy. Let's start back here. Helps you decide what kind of, it's going to be a good eyeliner pen, pencil, or, uh, but I, I like it on my brows. It would be good for that angle. Who would have, you know? I don't, I haven't done the angle. I need to. It's just, I don't know. I just don't. But this, you have really good control over where the color's going. And that's a really natural look. This has Carpixel in it too. Comes in all different colors. We've got Garnet, we've got uh, Black Brown is what I just used. We've got Auburn, we've got Deep Brown, all different colors. They all have Carpixel, which helps the lashes grow as well. We did that brush off, because that's so important. <laughs> Just sure that. Okay, ladies? So important. Okay. Now, I'm going to clean my lips really quick. Uh, I'm going to show you. See, I got... You want your lips to be clean. That was witch hazel. Okay? Uh, I'm going to show you a simple, simple eye look today. That if you're not sure about shadow sense, if you've not made that transition, and you're like, I don't know, I'm going to show you how easy it is to put on. Right now I'm doing the blush, my favorite toasted rose, and I'm just kind of going right on that bone. Look how easy. It is so hot out today. I'm thinking... Good day for housework. Scholar's not here. I don't get dressed to do makeup. Put makeup on to do housework. I went out to start my lawnmower yesterday and it was dead. And so, kind of over it <laughs> after my little crony meltdown. I didn't have a meltdown. Wanted to, but I did. Okay, so if you do not have candlelight, you need candlelight, ladies. You need, candlelight is the very first color that you should buy, okay? So, I'm gonna put this on. This is kinda better close to the bottom, but not yet. So, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna take a big, floofy brush. This is gonna be a good, big, floofy brush. And I'm just kinda putting it all over. Because some people have, and I'm going all the way up, to the brow. Some people have uh, like veins, purple veins in their eyelids. Some people you might have a brown spot but candle candlelight is a good base. Okay? So I got the candlelight and it's all over. Okay? Now it's so, it is candlelight's a nice color. I might say I'm going to go just a tad Darker. I'm going to do two coats because you can layer this. Let it sit for a second. There's another one. Let it sit and then I'm kind of just foofing it around. Okay. Look at that. And then going on up. Look at that. Excellent like that. Now, I'm going to take, I kind of got a, a, a rust pink on. So, oh, this would be a perfect, almost, desert rose, which I wore that yesterday. So, I'm not going to, oh, I know which one I'm going to use. I'm going to use copper. I'm going to use a shimmer copper rose, which is another good one. And... Let's see. I'm going to put it. I'm going to get me my brush first. It's going to be like a little padded brush. 
and I'm just gonna put it right in here and then I'm gonna pat. Because this works really well pat. Any shimmer or glitter, you want a flat brush. You kind of just pat or tap, however you want to. How pretty is that? Now, I'm going to have to go a little darker. But I'm also going to take and go in. And I'm just going on that brow bone. Or right under... Uh, eyelid, eyelid bone. Okay, I don't know what it's called. I need to research that. I used to have to know. And now I'm just tapping. Just tapping. Okay, that's pretty. And it goes with my shirt. Do y'all see that? But I'm not through. Because you can layer. So I'm just kind of it in. Hi, Mary. I hope all is well. I don't know if you see. Usually, ladies, I don't do the shimmer like this or the glitter, but it's really blended well. I use this with my foundation, and this was what me and you were talking about yesterday. And I put just a tad in with the color corrected. And I used my foundation dewy. And this is what I got. So, I loved the way that it blended. It does, it's not a greasy feel or nothing like that. I'm doing my shadow and showing y'all. I have hooded eyes. So, I'm kind of going up, over. Up and over. Don't forget, our shadows are waterproof and smudge proof. So that is really good. And then I'm just kind of, normally I don't like to do this with the shimmer. But look at that. That is really spreading good. Now, I'm going to use, I wasn't planning on none of these colors. I am fixing to go with... I need some glitter. So, I'm going to take, and I'm going to take the same brush, and I'll just do it like this, and I'm tapping right in here. This is Twilight. It's not what we always carry. Let's see. But I'm sure... I have at least one. Anybody is interested. So, I'll just tap it. Put the little fairy dust in there. How about that? Do you see? Now, it's just making it a little lighter. And glittery. And then I'll probably go right in here, right in there. Okay, tap, tap, tap. It is so hot outside. I went out for a second. Whoops, dropped it. And uh, I decided I didn't want to stay out long. <laughs> now, so I've got the copper rose, copper shimmer rose, and then I've got the candlelight, which is the first shade I think anybody really should get. So, now, I am going to take, I'm not going to do black, I'm not going to do, this is one of the limited edition, this is gray, and I'm just going to go up underneath my eye, over, not to where the twilight was, so, the twilight shimmer, I'm going to stop right at the lash line, because I've got light right in there. Now, this stuff goes on just like a crayon. You will see me use liquid. You'll see me use pencil. I love them all. If I could do it, you could do it. Trust me. 
Now, I'm going to say I learned something new. Do it the uh, lash primer. I'm going to put my lash primer on and then I'm going to let it sit and dry. This has Carpixel in it, which helps your lashes grow. Make sure you get all of them. Uh, somebody complimented my lashes the other day, and it was just from using this lash and our mascaras, of course. Uh, it's all I use, Sidious products. Uh, I love the products. Now, I'm going to let it sit before I do my mascara. But I am going to pick out a color. And I think, due to the colors that I'm wearing, I think I'm going to do rose quartz. Before I do rose quartz, I'm just going to put, if you have oily skin, these powders are a must. I don't have oily skin, but I can still wear the powders because they do not dry your face out. But, like, I use the translucent, which is white, but you can see it doesn't go on my face as white. But it kind of gives it the filtered look. So, if I sweat, or my face kind of perspires, or I have oil, it's going to absorb it, but it's not going to clog your pores. Cannot beat that. So now, I'm going to do Rose Quartz, which is a beautiful color. Okay, there's one. Now I'm gonna go back with my mascara. Look at that. Such a game changer, letting it dry. I wish I would have my lash primer. <laughs> Wished I would have realized that a little sooner, but I will. Now I'm gonna do my second coat of rose quartz. It's such a beautiful color. I mean, let's just be honest, Sidgets don't make ugly colors. <laughs> I don't care what color I've used. Uh, I love them all. <laughs> it just really depends on what, co what color outfit I'm wearing or my mood. Uh, cleaning my brushes because that's always a must. Okay, you don't want bacteria or nothing like that. Uh, I mean, see how easy it is. Now, if I would have messed up, let's just say, if I would have messed up with the uh, rose shimmer, I could have used what the, what was left over from my candlelight when I put it all over. It kind of swooped it in, but I didn't have to do that, you see. Uh, not that next time I won't. <laughs> I'm just saying this time. Okay. so easy to put this stuff on and I will say that just like uh, anything repetitive wow repetitive almost looks false but they're not uh, repetitive you, if say you're not sure about something try it for five days before you decide whether or not you like it or not Rose quartz. Oh, so pretty. All right, now, I think I'm gonna do my matte gloss today. Now, I'm not gonna let my lips touch. I'm gonna do, I've done two coats on top of my mascara. And then I'll do it underneath. And I did not put anything in my, on my watercress line. I might go back and do it. I could do that. Because I'm so used to... I'm going to show you something. I'm going to really make these eyes pop. Uh, I'm going to take Onyx. Now, I've got gray. Which really plays off the blue. But this is shadow. And it's Onyx. Watch me. I put it on and look 
right in my watercress because it's waterproof, right? And, whoops, drop that. Go right up and through there. Look at that. Love it. You could use it as on your eyes as well, above your eyelid rather. All right, so now I'm gonna do my mat. Nothing on it. Look how pretty. I love the mat. Uh, so that's today's look. If there's anything that you see that you'd like to let my hair, no, I need to fix my hair now. Not going anywhere. But uh, if there's anything that you see that you'd like to try, let me know. Or if you want to place an order or whatever. Okay, so I don't wear my hair down very often now, y'all. It just aggravates me. Uh, anyway, so if you see something you're interested in, message me. If you like my videos, please sprinkle. I can't say S H A R E. Uh, if you want to add somebody to my page, feel free. Uh, I hope y'all have a great day. Keep hydrated. It is so hot. I will talk with y'all later. Bye-bye.